Uh, greetings in Jesus' name, Georgetown Church of God. Uh, me and Sister Morgan were here today and uh, just had this thought to come to my mind. But before I get into that, I, I want to share with you some, uh, basically, I want to thank our staff. Uh, that I would like to thank them for how they're doing. And I'm going to call a few names out to you that maybe you, perhaps you don't know what they've been doing, but I want to call your attention to it. Maybe you could drop them a message or give them a call and let them know you appreciate them. Uh, first, I'd say I would like to say to uh, Carter Ann Owens and Isaac uh, and Olivia Stanridge, because you can't have uh, one without the other. Uh, thank you for their hard work in uh, handling our music, which, by the way, was awesome. Uh, for Isaac and his uh, hard work with the filming of the services, also their diligence uh, in keeping up with, in touch with our youth. They're doing a tremendous job. Uh, they are doing uh, things and doing devotions that really mean so much. Uh, and they're staying in contact. And that's hard to do uh, while you're working, but we love you and appreciate uh, what you do. Uh, secondly, to Mark and Hope Schuler and, and family. Actually, if you have not seen uh, his videos uh, that has involved his kids, uh, also by which way they are so cute. Uh, and I love the way they act out the different scenes, and uh, those are uh, also very educational, uh, but they're also very entertaining. Uh, you'll get a good kick and a laugh out of that. Thank you, uh, Mark and Hope Schuler and your family for what you do. All, thirdly, I would like to thank also our clerk. Uh, he works behind the scenes, Jimmy Demery, uh, who is moving forward in some areas that has uh, he's never been in uh, because of this virus, but uh, just to keep the church functioning in the best way possible uh, during this time. So I want to give a big God bless you to uh, Jimmy Denry. Uh, also to uh, Ethan uh, Holiday, uh, tremendous, tremendous guitar player. And uh, we just thank him for coming alongside. He does the technical stuff also, and just, just a tremendous blessing. We thank you so much, Ethan, for what you do. Uh, today, I'd like to kind of direct this in a little bit different direction. I know I usually always do a devotion and talk about uh, the, to the adults, but today I'd like to change that, and I want to talk to our children today. I want to let our children know that we care about them and the pastor and his wife love them and appreciate them. I remember what Jesus said in Matthew 10 and 14. He said, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not for such is the kingdom of God. I want to tell our teens and our children today that the pastor and his wife, uh, Sister Morgan, is, is concerned about you too. We don't want to leave you out and just talking to the adults. We want to let you know that we love you and care for you too and are concerned that you too are worried about this because you see mom and dad worrisome and bothersome. And, and so we, we just want to lift you up today, let you know that we're thinking about you uh, and that we love you. And we also care about your mom and dad. But church is not church without you. You are a vital part of the church. We need children running around. I love when you run up and down the halls, even though we try to get on to you about running down the halls. Uh, but it, we would miss you so much if we didn't have those little voices that are laughing and giggling and doing the funny little things in church. Uh, you're the heritage of the church. Whether I don't know if you understand what that means, but you are the future church. And Psalms 127 and 3 says, Lo, children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is reward. In other words, you are our reward. Uh, when we come to church and, and we, we love to hear your laughter, me and my wife don't have children. And so we get attached to each and every one of you. And I just wanted to get on here today just to tell you in a short little devotion that we love you and care for you 
And we're here for you. If you get uh, you want to call us, you can call us too. It's just not for adults. We just want to let you know. And I know you have a good kids pastor, and I know you have a good youth pastor that uh, that are taking care of you. But if you would like to talk to the pastor, you just get mom to call us, or you may even know how to contact us even better by the uh, phone or the internet uh, because y'all seem to be more up update than this old preacher is. But we appreciate appreciate you and, and we love you. The Georgetown Church of God is not complete without you. So we love you and we want to let you know that we are here for you. And I know you may be worried, you, even though we don't think about children worrying about things, but we know you may be worried about mom and dad. You can see the worry on mom and dad's face, but we want to let you know that we're coming through this thing. And not just to tell you to, to your mom and dad, but we want to say that to you. We're coming through this. We're going to be together again. And the Lord cares about you. And when you're praying and when you're doing your little bedside prayer, when you're praying about mom and dad, also understand that the Lord loves you and he'll hear your prayers. And oftentimes I think he hears your prayers above some of ours, I think. And so be encouraged and be strengthened today because me and Sister Morgan love you and we care for you and we are here for you. Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you know every little one that is out there, whether they be a child, whether they be a teenager, we know that, Lord God, that you are with them, that, Lord, you will never leave and you will never forsake them. Oftentimes, Lord, we overlook the children and we don't think about their feelings, but they too are worried in this time. But Lord, you can bring them comfort and you can bring them peace. And Lord, we'll just thank you for all that it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. Love you, Georgetown Church of God. Love you, kids. Tomorrow night, seven. Don't forget about tomorrow night. We'll be filming tomorrow night at seven o'clock. God bless you. Love you.